Yes. Uh, th th thank you very much, Honorable Co-Chairs. I, I think just picking up from where Honorable and I left, uh, it came from you that indeed some of the officers have been partisan, particularly during elections. But even in the recent uh, uh, demonstrations, Manda Manu, uh, it was very, very clear that uh, some of the officers are partisan. You could see officers saying, we have allowed these demonstrations to go on. We have banned those demonstrations. We will not allow those demonstrations. And Article 37 of our Constitution is very clear. That right, the freedom to demonstrate, the freedom to protest, to picket, is guaranteed by our Constitution. It does not depend on the generosity of Bwana Bungei in Nairobi or IG Kome. But you could see these officers actually uh, uh, purporting to allow or disallow. And some demonstrations were very violently handled. Some of us in this uh, uh, dialogue committee were victims. Some of us lost very close friends. Some of us lost our bodyguards, who are actually not just brutalized, injured, but some were shot and killed by police officers. And you could tell that that partisanship was very evident. They couldn't allow demonstrations here in Nairobi. But when we have issues of uh, some money being stolen, uh, for students going to Finland. Demonstrations were allowed in Eldred. When there would be tea machines in Kericho being brought and the citizens came out to demonstrate, demonstrations were allowed. But in Kisumu, in certain parts of Western, in Nairobi, the violence, the brutality of the police was shocking. Now that you yourselves admit this partisanship, we want to hear from you. What have you done to address this issue? Because it's a growing menace to enjoyment of uh, fundamental rights and freedoms uh, in our uh, constitution, particularly Article 37. And it also uh, goes against what you have uh, yourselves told us in uh, Article uh, 244 that requires the highest standards of professionalism and discipline in our officers. Partisanship shows lack of professionalism. It also shows the uh, probably the lack of proper training because you have said one of the issues that you look at is the training of our officers under Article 240. For D to the highest, in fact, not high standards, the highest standards of competence, integrity, respect for human rights, and fundamental freedoms and dignity. So these are issues we would like you to address us on. But having uh, uh, witnessed firsthand the, the brutality and abuse of human rights. Uh, by our police officers. I want to ask you if you are aware that we have about 1,000 police officers from Kenya who will be dispatched to Haiti, and there's an uproar internationally because of the recent abuse of human rights by our police. The world is worried that these police officers who have used human rights here in Kenya might export that police brutality, abuse of human rights in Haiti and on the international stage where they are now being sent. Are you aware that this decision has been made? Will I fall? <coughs> Be involved, or have you been uh, uh, prepared to extend that oversight to our officers who will be going to Haiti 
if they are going to export the same police brutality outside our borders, which will reflect very seriously on our image internationally. We want you to address us uh, on that because what we know or what we've heard about Haiti, uh, they are not the stone throwing uh, 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 demonstrations that maybe you, 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 you might have been told about. These are guns that are heavily armed. These are guns that have killed their own leaders. And we are sending our young people in uniform, in harm's way, to face these guns. Many of them may not come back alive. Are you aware of this development? Will you be oversighting uh, uh, this? We would like you to address us uh, on that. Lastly, you have said you have received, you received over 437 complaints. I think that was from the last elections. Would like to know how many have you concluded? Uh, which ones are still under? How many are still under investigations out of those 437? Would also like to know, in the post-election period, that is in the Mandamano period, how many complaints have you received? And in the face of the serious police brutality witnessed in this country, and I want to, affirm, to confirm what uh, the Honorable Pio and I have said, because as principals of Azimio, we have been working with these families, we have buried their dead, we have visited hospitals, and we have witnessed firsthand that those 73 Kenyans, many of them were very young, between 18 and 25, the oldest was about 30. Post-mortem reports were availed to us, showing they were shot by the police, and the cause of death were gunshot wounds, many of them to the backs of their heads, many of them in their backs. We would like you to tell us whether you have received these complaints, whether you have visited some of these mortuaries in Kisumu and other parts of this country, in Nairobi, and whether you are aware of these killings by a special unit of uh, our police. We would like you to confirm that, whether you are aware of a team of police in Subarus that are called Special Support Units, SSU, and whether you are also, as per your mandate, oversighting this killer squad of a special police unit. Thank you. Thank you. You know, Eugene and I today decided <laughs> we are the people who speak the longest, so we manage you, you as you manage me. Uh, uh, so, well, Obilianka? I thank you, Chair. I think I'll be rather brief compared to the um, previous speaker. I'm normally brief.